Okay, so uh, next we are going to talk about the uh, unweld tool. Okay, notice that unlike the weld tool, that right now you can actually just select it. If I selected unweld right now, everything, um, all the points would just become unwelded. Okay. Uh, let's just see what happens. Okay. T for move. Nothing really happens because these are all separate um, polygons. Okay. Or the both two of these are separate uh, polygons. Uh, generally, this tool is used when um, when you have a piece of geometry and you either want to create some space. Or you have to do something to it, to, like I said, or, or add more geometry, or make room for something. Okay, so let's uh, undo this. Let's select this polygon and just bring this up. And let's um, let's just go Control W and weld them, just so you know that they're welded. Okay, so these are welded. Okay. Now, right now, if I go unweld, if I select unweld, um, it will unweld these two uh, because these points are sharing uh, an edge with a, with a, each separate polygon here. I won't do anything to these ones because there's nothing really to undo or unweld. Okay. But right now it's taken two points. So let's just for fun just to see what happens. We cl click unweld. Okay, well not a heck of a lot happened. Okay, we didn't really see anything. Okay, let's go control T. Huh. Oh, what's what's unwelded here? But if we grab this polygon here and go T for move, it's not connected. Undo. Okay, grab that polygon again, go control T for drag. See how that comes apart now? Okay. But right now everything is selected, so if you try to go, whoops, control T, you'll bring everything uh, with it. Uh, let's go into edge mode, go control T and see how you can split it off. But this one, since it's not selected, you can't do anything. So basically the reason why you can't do anything is because they're sitting over top of each other. So you have to select, isolate something so that you can separate the two and you isolate it by uh, using selections. Okay. Um, let's see. What else can we show here? Um, oh, let's let's just make it. Whoops. Let's just extend this out. Let's go E. Okay, and we're just adding some geometry. We're just going to E, extend that out. Whoops, and extend that out again. Okay. So we have a row of two rows of polygons here. Okay, let's just uh, whoops, let's just make sure that everything's welded. Okay, I just merged everything. Everything is welded just to make sure everything is connected. T for move. Okay, you notice everything is still connected. Um, let's get rid of the grid just so not being confused here. Okay, so once again, see, we can tell that it's, everything is still connected. Okay, if I select these, go Control T, see, it's, everything is welded and in place. Okay, now if I, let's deselect that, let's go, sorry, detail, let's go unweld. Okay, and if I grab these, notice they'll move away. 
Now, whoops, why did I do that? Set up, detail, okay. Now, right now, everything is unwelded. Let's deselect those. And you say, okay, well, you just unwelded this edge. Well, everything is unwelded. If I just select this polygon right here, Control T, see how they're not connected? Okay. Now, if I select these row, this row of polygons here now, okay, and just select that row, and I go M for merge, all those points are re uh, are re welded. Okay. And it says six. And the it's basically this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Okay. So it, it merged those points. These top corner points, they're not connected to any anything other than itself, other than the one polygon. But these points in the middle share a po a two polygons. Okay, or it has two polygons on each side. These points here, these other three in the middle, are connected to two polygons. So that's why it says six. Okay, starting to get egg-headed here. Okay, but this one over here, whoops, sorry. This one over here, um, we didn't merge it. So if we go like this now, notice that's not connected. Okay, nothing in this row is connected right now. So if I go M for merge again, notice it says six again because it merged all the other ones on this side. Okay, so now that this whole row has been separated, okay, and all these points are perfectly um, welded together. Okay, so this is just a little bit of a taste of what can happen when you're doing complex modeling and you have to use unweld. You gotta, you, you kind of, you gotta go back and forth between the merging and the uh, unwelding and sometimes welding in different cases. Um, it's very important that you make sure that the right points are still um, welded and other ones unwelded. So anyways, that's the basics of how this tool works. Um, if you want to see more on uh, more stuff on uh, using welding tools and merging tools, I suggest uh, trying some of my uh, uh, modeling modeling videos, um, not on the modeler, but the actual stuff like you know uh, modeling a velociraptor and um, modeling a spacecraft modeling spacecraft and things like that and you'll get to see more of that uh, kind of stuff. Okay, so we're moving on to the uh, next tool.